Hello everyone, keep going on warehouse management. Today we're gonna talk about um, bins. We're gonna be talking about bins for a while, so just get used to it. Um, today we're gonna talk about fixed versus loading bins. So as you can see in the put away template, we have fixed and floating checkboxes. And it usually goes first and finds fixed bins. And then if it cannot find fixed bins, it goes to look for floating bins. And so the definition of a fixed bin is not a floating bin, right? So if it's, if it's set up as fixed, it's, a flo uh, it's not floating. And if it's not set up as fixed, it's floating. So however, with, as a fixed uh, bin, in the put away template, you can have it look for a fixed bin first. So if a bin has been marked off as fixed, it will look for that first, right? So <coughs> we have two bins. We have storage and storage two. And those bins can have something called a content, right? And if you actually receive something into a bin, and in this case, we have the coffee mug. I think it's a standard coffee mug. And it has 40 quantity inside here. Once it's received into the storage bin, it automatically creates this bin content for this bin. Before, there was no bin content. Now, you can also create bin contents without receiving into them. And you can specify sort of attributes of these bin contents. You can designate how they work. And on the bin content, you can actually say, this is going to be fixed. Uh, and if I, if I say that, it's going to be fixed, and it's going to be for this particular coffee mug, then the system has now identified this storage bin as being a fixed bin for this particular item. So it, when it goes through the uh, put away template and it's trying to figure out where to put away the item and you've set up looked for a fixed bin with the same item it will look at the bin content if the bin content has been set up as fixed and it has that item it found it and in our example actually uh, i'm going to do it for storage too not storage because just to take out the possibility that it's just going in alphabetical order um, and I'm going to set it up as fixed for this particular coffee mug. And then I'm going to run through the put away process and see if it picks number two. It should do that since it's a fixed one, right? So let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's take a look at the bin situation. We go here into location um, and pick up the north location. Go into navigate bins. And I have two bins here, uh, the storage and storage two. I should have meant the store one and two, but anyways. So what I want to do is create a fixed bin um, for my coffee mug. So I want the system to find um, the fixed bin first, just like we talked about in the put away template. So if I go here into page, uh, bin contents and um, I can then see the bin content for this particular bin and the bin content is what specifies you know what is the fixed or floating for, um, for a particular bin so over here I can go ahead and say well this is a fixed bin I can then specify the item which the coffee mug which is the fixed item for this bin. So what does fixed mean? It like we talked about on the uh, whiteboard, it basically means that this is the preferred um, put away bin for this item. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put that away here. Now the storage one is not a fixed bin. So that would be, if it's not a fixed bin, then it's a floating bin. So if it's not fixed, it's floating. So let's go back into the 
put away template right here and uh, click on how that's set up. So here we're looking at finding a fixed pin with the same item, right? That's first, okay? And then the second, uh, we go into finding a floating bin that's empty, and then finally we find the floating bin. So we should be able to find the fixed bin with the same item first here. So it should suggest um, the coffee mug to go into storage too. So let's go ahead and test that out after I created this bin content. I go into purchase order, and uh, create a new one again to the Fabricam. We go through this process a lot. It's quick, so that's why I don't mind. Uh, the coffee mug into the north location. Uh, 20 again. And we release it. And then we go ahead and do we see actions, create warehouse receipt. The receipt header is there. We go ahead and post that. And it creates the put away, hopefully. Yes. And now we can go ahead and look up the put away. Uh, put aways right here. Uh, okay, we have two. Well, let's take a look at this one. Um, so as we can see, the system talks about taking it from the receiving and putting it into storage too. So it's using the fixed bin to put it away. And again, this is uh, using the put away template, which I think is a really good idea. You should use the put away template. And you have now specified particular bins for particular items. So, so that is great. So we've, we've locked those two together. Um, and that's it.